Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to the new update. I'm going to be taking a look at all the new monsters, um, the new Astromon of the Month event thing. Well, it's not an event, it's it's kind of like bingo where you can complete it every month or every day or something like that. And, uh, as well as reviewing the new monsters that just that just came out. So, I think the, the big news is the new monsters, and they're definitely really, really strong. I took a look at their skills, and they're, they're really, really good. So, this is the Astromon of the Month, uh... I guess it's kind of like a daily event that you can do. And I I think you have to complete some sort of mission um, throughout the month. So I already completed my first one, which is to craft a super stone. If you don't know what that is, it's in the super laboratory. Um, the, basically the the material to make a super evolved... Yeah, make a super evolved uh, thing. I can't scroll up. I can't read this. Changes Astromon's appearance and possibly yet even further at evolution is currently being investigated. Responsible for unearthing this Laticia shattering discovery is the scholar Tri T Tyrion Bannister, who has named new evolution Super Evolution. Much said about this choice of names and. Wait. Yeah, there's a new NPC too. He's called Merlin. Um, he basically is the one that's responsible for choosing all the um, all the super evolution monsters and I'm not entirely sure but you basically you have to complete these missions monthly and you can get these rewards and these rewards are actually um, pretty good because you can get a gleam like this is a gleam egg so you can you can get a gleam an extra gleam every single month for completing this which is really really nice and also as well as a four star skill book um, Gold's, gold's alright, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it, it's free. Yeah, I, I think this is a really good idea, because they, uh, you know, they, they've been making all these packages for, like, pay-to-play players, um, and I guess this kind of rewards the players that are a little bit more hardcore, that can go and, um, you know, complete your, your dailies, whatever you need to do. Because, you know, in a lot of mobile games, it's, it's either um, you invest a lot of money, or you invest a lot of time into it. Wait, this 3D thing. I just I just noticed something. I just wait, stop stop spinning that way. Damn it. I can't I can't I can't spin this thing properly. Look at this. Alright, now I finally know what color her panties are. My um we we've solved that mystery. My I can die happy now. Alright, that's that's all. That's that's all I needed to know. I, I think I think we're done. We're done here today. Um, this is uh, yeah. This, this this has been my patch review. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next. Now we're, we're we're gonna keep going. But I I, I think I think I've like I I think I've just I've I've just uh, checked off one of my like li go goals in life. Yes, off of my checklist is to find out what color. Miho's panties are. Um, Alright, what's the new monster? Oh, the Seedler. Yes, the Seedler. The seed seedlers are really good. We'll start with the Fire ones. Because they technically are Rebirth Mons as well. Alright, so the Fire one's a uh, Seal plus Sap. Uh, I guess alright for early game PvP. I probably don't see much reason in building him. Um, we're just gonna... Yeah, I guess. I mean, if you happen to have him, you like him, you can use him for a while. He's he's all right. The water one is a balance type. Now, very pretty low recovery. That's that's pretty good, and also has defense down sixty percent for for t both their skills. They also have resistance lead, which is I guess always useful. Resistance is never never not useful. Um, yeah, this is a pretty good monster. You can build them, throw them in titans if you want. Because it does have like defense down on both their skills, so that's that's pretty good. If you're missing some like defense down monsters, would it, would I use it over Water Shelly? Um, would I use it over Water Shelly? Wait, Sealers have skill books, right? So if you you can increase both their chances to eighty, I might use it over Water Shelly because Water Shelly's second skill has no defense down, so it might actually be a lo little bit more reliable. I'm not I'm not too sure. But then again, like Water Shelly also is a single target, so it does do a little bit of damage. With Sealer, you already know what it, what it does. 
Um, the light. Where where is it? I can't I can't find it. When are they releasing the Nifas? I I demand, I demand Nifa. I want this. All right, back to back to life. Uh, so this is the light sealer. It, it is a defense aggressor with um, attack down. Now I really like if if they if I was to build a half aggressor, I would prefer to build half aggressors with. Um, with aggression on their first skill rather than second skill. I think those are those are a little bit better. And yeah, he's definitely quite good. He's I think he's pretty tanky. He's really tanky. Um lot of defense, high HP as well, low attack, recovery it's alright, it's not it's not too bad. Um and also has resist lead, so you can actually like this is a pretty good monster for clan battles. I think uh yeah, I think if you get one, it's definitely worth building. Um, but I, I guess they are like rebirth monsters, and sealers are farmable, so it doesn't matter. You can build as many as you want. Like you don't have to choose which one you want to build. Their variant color looks pretty good. I won't review their variant color. You can go into your astro guide and look at it by yourself. Um, so yeah, he's he's definitely a good monster. Alright, so this is the Dark Seether. Now, this monster, in my opinion, is is just completely game-breaking. Like, he is so OP. Like, Elemental Edge on crit and Defense Down on crit. So if you have good gems to push his crit to like 100%, basically it makes it so he has, like, always has Elemental Edge and can always Defense Down. So that's that's really, really strong. And he's, he's Dark, has relatively high attack, low recovery, really, really good. Um... Nice variant color as well. So, yeah, the the reason why I think this monster is game breaking is because you can stack like four or, or maybe just three. Like, you might want to use like a HP lead or something. You can put an HP lead, put three of these on your arena defense. And you know the problem with uh, using like dark dark monsters to uh, to try to kill people like on, on first turn. Um, some tankier monsters like Fire Odin and stuff can like tank Dark Atitos. But if you use something like this, it's gonna like if you send three of these at a at a Fire Odin and they all have like a hundred percent crit, it that 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 Odin's dead. Like that Odin's dead. Um, so yeah, it, it basically just makes it so like I think this is gonna change like PvP offense. Just basically stack a bunch of these or not a bunch, but like you only need three. And then you put like an HP lead, so they're it's a little bit more stable. They don't die in one turn. Um, but yeah, nice stats, nice attack. Not not the highest attack, but I guess because they are um, dark monsters and they have elemental edge, it kind of makes up for it. So that's that's pretty good. Um, all right, so that's 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 pretty much it for the Steelers. Like they're, I'm pretty happy about those. I'm I'm quite excited. I'm gonna try to get as many um, light and dark ones as I can, just to just to just to build and use for um, clan PvP. I don't necessarily need it for um, Astron League because I can always just use aggressors and get the same results. But I think for um, for for clan PvP, you can put one of those on each of your teams, and they they'll they'll do a lot of they'll they'll do a lot of damage and you know kill shit. That's that's pretty much it. Where is where is the other monster? He's around here somewhere. Wait, what? Where is he? Did they not add him into the game? I just realized that he's not actually in the game. Are you kidding me? All right, all right, all right. We'll uh, we'll take a look at his skills on like Reddit or something. How about that? How about that? All right, I'm back with the uh, Monster Super League official forum. Uh, for some weird reason, they didn't add these monsters in the game. Like I can't, I couldn't see the these monsters in the game. But anyways, anyways, wait, are they really not in the game? Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I'm just really, really dumb. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure they're not in the game. See, I don't see them anywhere. Do you guys see them anywhere? Alright, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm perfectly 100% sane. They are not in the game. Um, so, we're going to take a look at their skills here. We can still take a look at their skills. It's, it's perfectly fine. Um, this is the fire one. It's a morale boost courageous strike, or it's balance type, which makes it really good for a courageous strike. The problem is morale boost isn't really useful for titans. So I guess he's... It's like he doesn't have one of his passives. I guess it's fine. It's not too bad. But compared to like... Compared to like Verde... Or, uh, or, uh, what's, what's the, like, Woodkana, um, just any of the other courageous strikers with some sort of debuff on their first skill, he's definitely not as good. Um, but if you're missing fire courageous strikers, you can definitely still build him. Or if you don't care about anything else, you just want more courageous strikers for titans, then you can still build him. Um, this is the water one. It's an adrenaline taunt. It's a tank. Uh, I guess... Ooh, they, they actually show the level 60 stats. That's actually amazing. That's ooh, that's that's awesome. They're they're actually showing the level 60 stats. Well this this monster has amazing stats. Look at it. It's got really low recovery. Um it's tanky, per, decently high attack, decently high defense. Like stat wise, it's it's really, really good. Um you know, maybe one day they will fix Colossus and we can actually start doing Colossus, but for now, like, these tank taunt monsters aren't aren't as good. It's just, they, they aren't. Um, the wood one looks really good. Like, the wood one is a morale boost, like a 50% morale boost attacker with Hunter on its second skill. It's got really high attack. So you can use these to farm, like, water maps. Um, like, Glacial Plain. Very, very good for, like, farming Glacial Plain. I'd probably try to grab a few just just so I can get like a really efficient team to farm Glacial Plain. And then like for one of my, one of my weeks, I can move all my Siphon Gems onto him and just use them to farm that. Um, the Dark One is a HP Siphon, so it's, it heals itself. It has an 80% seal. It's an attacker as well. Can't really go wrong with Dark Attackers because Dark Attackers are just... Like, Dark Attackers are just good. Like, they're, he's got high attack, he's dark, good stats. Um, Steel's not really all that useful in the late game, but you can still use him and build him just, just for the reason that he's a Dark Attacker. Like, he's just... He's going to be really, really good um, for for anything. Just for Clan PvP, I guess. I don't think he's top tier, like, for, uh, like, Astromon League PvP, but you can still use him as, a, as another monster for one of your um, Clan PvP bot battles if you want to build a few of him. This is the light, the light incubus. Um, now this monster, I looked at his skills, and it it looks a little bit weird, but I think if if I'm reading this right, it actually seems pretty strong. So he's basically a passive healer. He's a he's got HP siphon. Attacks restore allies HP um, in proportion to the amount of damage dealt. So basically, he's a he's a he can heal his team with his first skill, and yeah, it's it's kind of like the light snowy, or um, or dark kana, with their second skill. But instead, it's on on his first skill. So he's basically like a passive healer that can heal every single turn. And this heal is based off of his damage dealt. So it doesn't say greatly. So maybe it's like fifty percent of his damage dealt. But even still, that's that's really really strong because um, I imagine he'd be pretty good for. Um, for for golems, especially if you don't have like really good gems. If you have like super good gems, you can, you can just run like the light radices or something like that. But if you don't, if your gems aren't as good, he can kind of make up for it because every time he attacks, he can basically like if he has high enough attacking, basically like max heal your entire team or something like that. Um, maybe I'm over overrating him a little bit, but you know if it heals for like 50% of his damage dealt, it's it's definitely possible. He also has shock on his second skill, so that's actually pretty good. And you can use them for PvP because um, you know passive healers are pretty good for PvP as well, for for offense I guess. Good stats like low recovery. All these monsters have have really really good stats. Uh, my favorite is definitely the wood one. I'm I'm gonna try to build some of these for farming like glacial plain. Maybe build one or two with the the slots I want, and I can um, whenever I'm choosing to farm the glacial plain stage, I can move my gins like siphon gems over to them. So he can get like high crit rate and stuff, and we can do some do some crazy crazy shit. 
All right, so that's pretty much it. That's uh, I think that's that's it for for reviewing the the monsters. Um, there's not really anything else in this patch. I'm not I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it's mainly new monsters. I guess that's always that's always quite exciting. Um, I'm pretty excited for next month's rebirth. All the monsters are really really strong. They're they're the monsters I like. Like I know a lot of people like other types of monsters, but I like like attackers, dark attackers, farmers, and uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, some people are like into like titans battles monsters, but but this month is my month. It's uh, it's all the all the all the farming monsters that I need to to farm certain maps. Um, yeah, like this glacial plain stage. Just look at this. The XP stage is all water, and the uh, the gold stage is two wood, one water. So basically, you can you can do something like a uh, uh, if your siphon gems aren't as good to push a hundred percent crit because he is wood. It's it's a little bit hard. I might just go like wood anu lead and then like run like three wood incubus, and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna it's gonna farm the stage so 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 hard. Um, for the, we just need a water one now. We just need a water one after that one. The the uh, the gold stage here is firewood dark, so you need a water monster to farm this one. We just need a water one now, but we have one for glacial plains. That's that'd be pretty good. Like I just I just think he's 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 gonna be awesome. Um, you can help farm these stages as well. Just basically anything that like um, you can't farm with fire mons. You can farm with uh, with that wood incubus. I imagine a 50% morale boost can probably, with a siphon set, like get a full bar or something like that, depending on how much damage you actually do. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make an update video to share with share um, my my thoughts and review the new monsters. Pretty excited for for next month, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Welcome to Momoe! Here at Momoe, we are all about catering all the popular anime merchandise selections you can't really find anywhere else. Our goods come from China, but like all products nowadays, pretty much everything else is too. However, at Momoe, we only sell the best of the best, branded or officially licensed anime merchandise. Still not convinced? Try us out today by ordering one of our free gifts! Momoe, bring home what you love!